So here we are at the uh, center of Plov and uh, we're hoping to uh, show you how Plov is made. Now we've eaten Plov our whole lives and there's a lot of ways to make it. Um, if anyone tells you they know the right way to make it, they're lying because there's uh, literally hundreds of ways and a hundred different recipes. But let's explore what they're going to show here. One big room, it's all wood fire. And they allow you to come in and interact with everyone. Okay, so uh, this is pretty cool. They, uh, they start at five in the morning, and this is the first big one that they start. And they go all the way, they serve all the way till 11 p.m. So as the day goes, they just keep uh, cooking more and more and more. Now they cook more than one ton of rice every single day. Uh, this place is incredible. It's super popular. Like if you come to Tashkent and you don't come here, I'm not sure you've been to Tashkent. This place is really incredible. Okay, so there are two types of plov they make here. One's a wedding plov, like for celebrations, and the other one's Chaihansky plov. Uh, both a little different of the same thing. Let me just show you what the differences are. So it starts with chopping onions. Anything goes in any spare wood. Вы можете сказать, как отличается самаркандский плов и ташкентский плов? Просто отдельный вы, рис отдельно, морковь, мясо. Мы, мы сейчас через сейчас мы это. Мы, мы все перемешаем, а в Самарканде они не отдельно, мешают. Отдельно. Все отдельно. А, окей. Okay. This one is made with sunflower, but there they have a different one called zigir. Been steamed and lightly mixed. Ooh, and there we go. That's cumin seeds. And this is going to be the next one that's going to be ready to serve. That one's already empty. And this will be the next one for the restaurant. I know it looks oily and greasy, and it really isn't until you get to the very bottom. It's time. Fish out the meaty bits. Oh, there's the ribs. Yum. Pull out the ribs and the bones. Oh, there you go. So remove the excess oil and strain it. It's clever. Because there, the horse meat. Those are the vine, grapevine leaves. And that's the quail eggs that are served with your plov. Now he's just chopping the meat. The plov isn't in layers, it's all mixed through. 
ready to be served. So you can order different portion sizes, obviously. From individual to party size, that's what that one looks like. And then garnished on top with all the meat. And you got the kaze, horse sausage, but you got the grapevines, grape leaves that are stuffed. And then finished off with quail eggs. That's your takeaway. And then... Okay, so there's a few different types. It's very hot in here, by the way. Uh, a few different types of uh, plov, obviously. Um, the majority of them are kind of the same one, um, which is made with the chickpeas and um, the uh, beef and lamb. But the one behind me here is made, it's a spicy one. So it's made with uh, lots of garlic and uh, chili pepper and the fried lamb tail called, it's kurjuk, and it's uh, crispy lamb fat. So. Uh, they love to garnish that on top. So it's all slightly different variations of the same thing, with a bit different flavors. In this one, you just have the onions frying so far. Made a bit different than the other ones. Now that was the meat and the garlic. So far, the difference with this one, there was a lot of onion fried, really crispy and then the meat and garlic is added. And then that actually cooked for quite some time before they added the carrots. Chaihansky plov is what this is called. And the one portion served is 34,000 som. 0.7 of a portion, 32,000. Nice and crispy. And now they add the carrot. <laughs> that is a lot of care when it comes down. Not layered, but mixed. It's okay to mix your bluff, people. You've seen it here first. It's frying the kurujo. That's the lamb fat tail. Kind of like foot crackling, I guess, maybe? That would be probably the best way to explain it. Okay, it's super hot. And then they keep adding wood and on <laughs> top of the 35 degrees outside, feels like it's another 35 degrees on top of that inside. Um, and as you stand in front, um, it's very hot. Thank goodness there's a zoom on the camera because uh, <laughs> I'm very hot in Uzbekistan, as you can tell from my stories. Острые, да, это мне нравится. That's the fried lamb fat tail. So behind me you see they're making the lipyoshki in these wood-fired ovens. So what they do is they uh, pay, place the uh, it's, it's risen yeast dough um, and they prepare it all, they smack it down in the middle um, with a stamp um, and then it kind of puffs up around as it bakes. And they put it on this form and they smack it onto the, the wood-fired uh, uh, tandir 
and uh, then it just cooks from there. And it's just absolutely incredible. And you eat this with everything here in Uzbekistan. Honestly, fresh baked, they're hot right out of the oven. Just the aroma. And then it gets too hot, they just spray water. Okay, so, so while that's cooking, uh, we're, we're gonna go find our way inside. And as uh, you can either eat outside here, and that's really nice with the grapevines. You're under the uh, Tashkent Tower. See, look, you've got that, it's really nice. Um, but <laughs> I'm really hot. So uh, let's go check out the inside. There you go, that's what the inside looks like. So, oh, it's air conditioned. Sweet, sweet air conditioning. So this is it. There is, they could feed hundreds and hundreds of people at any given moment. All right, so let's go order. I am starving and I'm dying of thirst. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> there's Rina. It's pretty hot. So if you sit down, there's table service. We've just ordered a Chahansky plov, a Svadibny plov, which is a wedding plov, um, some kampot, which is like a juice uh, that we make at home all the time. And then what else do we order? Uh, Lipyoshka, which we saw they make in the oven. And uh, achi chu. I can never say it right. It's the tomato salad that's always uh, served with plov, uh, which is just tasty. So yeah, can't wait. Okay. All right, so that's the lipyoshka. It's still warm from the oven. Like this is a hundred times better than the stuff we've been drying so far because Oh, well, they say the crochet can last like a year or two, but when they're fresh, it's the best. That's the achichu salad. Look, it's just an onion and tomato salad, which is good. And of course, you've got, um, that's the juice, that's the compote, which okay, so, I love. Boy. <laughs> Oops, there we go. So that's how you drink it out of a bowl. Zavasha Zdorovia. Svadibne. Svadibne, That is... The wedding plov. So that's the big ones that we were looking at. Quail eggs, the meat, the horse sausage. Yum. Da da, mnie spasiba. Oh, yum yum. So this is the Chaihanski plov. It's more of kind of, I think, what we are used to making in that similar style. That's the kurjuk, fried lamb fat. All right, so we start with the dipyoshka, right? So this always just gets ripped into pieces and then you get shared on the table into bite-sized pieces, see? It's kind of chewy and just delicious. So good. So this is the achik chuk chuk. So that's just the tomato salad. They obviously make it in vast portions. Um, we have been eating it everywhere. Different herbs go into it from time to time. So this one here, it would have like a purple basil in it, uh, or basil. Uh, other ones don't have it, but it's just a very slight um, uh, kind of a, a basil or some herbs uh, flavor in there. All right, so we're trying the wedding plug. So like you've seen out there, there's things like chickpeas in there, you've got the carrots, uh, there's raisins in there, that's the horse meat. Uh, that's the shredded meat. Uh, that is the egg from a quail. So the quail egg, and it's served with a grape uh, vine. Wait. Mm, so good. So, let's try this. A bit of everything. It's really good. But no matter where, what club you try in the world, your mom's is always going to be tastier. <laughs> Mm. Okay, let's compare this one to the Chaihanski. So the Chaihanski, cool. It's a bit more greasier. You can see it's got more oil. The cooking method was made differently. This seems to remind me a little more of my mom's, and this one's spicier. So this is the kurjuk. That's like the lamb fat. Add a piece of lamb meat on there. Mm. All right, well, let's see what this is like. This one's tastier for me, but I guess to each his own, this has more flavor in it. Oh, 
So this is a hundred times better. This is more like mom's. So, mm. so good. Mm -hmm.